of hours. Kiefer and I were planning a trip to Cambridge in the spring, do an insider's tour of Harvard. We were going to look into the dining clubs, watch the spring regatta. After that, we were going to take a train down to Manhattan. I had reservations at the Harvard Club, and Kiefer really wanted me to show him around. Well, now we and I making funeral arrangements. So sorry. You were a disaster for Kiefer, weren't you? From the day that your insane brother attacked him at the club and your father showed up with his henchmen, I warned him. I warned him that you were nothing but trouble and I told him to stay away from you. But he wouldn't listen. Because he loved you. He loved you, and now he's dead. He's dead because you lied. You told people that he was beating you when he wasn't. And then your mother... Your mother runs him down with her car. It was an accident. Kiefer's left leg was shattered. His hips. His hips were broken. And he had to lie there. He had to lie there in unspeakable pain, bleeding internally. Alone, Christina. Alone in the dark. Dying. before they could get him into emergency surgery. Keeper, Keeper would still be alive if he had gotten to this hospital on time. If only your mother would have called for help. But it started, it started with you. You are the reason the Keeper is dead. Keeper is dead because of you. I loved Keeper. That's why I said Ethan beat me up the first time, because I didn't want to cause any trouble. I thought it would all go away once I dropped the charges, but then Keeper wanted me to reinstate them, and I couldn't do that. Ethan is innocent. Keeper said I was ruining his life. And he hit me. And he wouldn't stop. Well, at least part of what you're saying is true. You were ruining Kiefer's life. But now, you are trying to defile his memory. Kiefer did hit me. He hit me a lot. Did you tell anyone that before? No, he always apologized. Did you report it to the police? I didn't want to get him in trouble. Did you tell your parents? No. No, no, you didn't. Because it didn't happen, okay? Here's what happened. Your mother ran down Kiefer with her car. And then she left him there. She drove away. She came here to this hospital, stood around for hours knowing that he was out there, knowing that he desperately needed help. Warren, this is not okay. You. You. You killed my son. Your life as you know it is over. All right, come on, let's go. Warner. You're grieving. You should go home. Keeper was dying when we were at the Metro Court. While we were having drinks, discussing the California deal, Kiefer was alone, in the dark, bleeding to death. He couldn't walk, he couldn't get help. He was probably terrified. I'm very sorry. We warned him to stay away from that girl. She's a liar. 
We heard rumors that the mother was unstable. I never thought. Christine is not responsible here. Well, then who is? 